Hello everyone, this is Icona Kona, and here I'm playing a spy on Payload Barn Blitz. Uh, now I'm just rocking the basic, the, the default spy stuff, the knife, the, the revolver, and uh, the watch. Here <laughs> that sniper actually hit me, uh, but luckily I think he was zoomed in too much that I didn't realize he hit me. Um, take out this uh, NG, and I try to go back in here, but my teammates already cleared this room, so good job team. Who can I wreck with this? So here I'm <laughs> really low on health, and uh, that's one of the things when you play Spy is um, it's good to know where the uh, the health pack is. And actually, I just passed a full health pack, but it's good to know where like the health pack is and the the ammo uh, boxes are because you can replenish your health and uh, and your cloak as well. And having enough cloak is, is really important, especially with Invisiwatch, where it's not based on your movement like the uh, like the cloak and dagger is because the cloak and dagger you can stay still pretty much forever and be invisible but with the regular invisiwatch it's based on time it's not based on movement and so you only get a certain amount of time to go where you need to and so you you need to learn probably the best thing to do with this watch is to learn where the ammo boxes are that way you can stay invisible for a much longer time here this scout was I guess AFK or something like that um, and this, this spy was right behind him but I decided uh, I don't want to pick a fight with that spy uh, spy versus spy usually doesn't end up well for me at least, and so I just figured oh, I just I just stay back, redisguise and uh, and continue on. Now you notice that um, I'm actually disguised as a friendly pyro, and it's something I learned from watching other YouTube videos, uh, some really good spy players. Is that when you're on your side of the line with your teammates, it's good to disguise yourself as um, uh, a friendly. Uh, a friendly class like a pyro or a demo man or, or anything but spy that way they don't know that there is an enemy spy uh, that they have to worry about if you were to disguise yourself as uh, an enemy spy like in this case um, I'm red uh, I'm a red demo uh, you would have to uh, if you're if you're spotted the enemy team is gonna kinda get suspicious and be like oh that's obviously a spy because it's like a red demo man walking amongst all the blue team. So, uh, when you're with your team, uh, it's good. A, it's a good idea to disguise yourself as a friendly. And once you cross that line and go to the enemy side, then you can disguise yourself as an enemy. So here, here's a good back route uh, up these stairs and uh, down. Uh, not many people check up here, which is really nice. And so, as a spy, you can actually go, come down here and jump down. And you're pretty much right in their main area, and it's good to just kind of surprise them from the top. Here, a bit of acting. I know that that heavy is behind me, and so I just faced away from him so that it looks like I'm one of their team. So here, um, this this uh, engineer tries to set up a sentry. I easily zap it, backstab him, take care of him. No one sees me, and take out this uh, soldier. And so the enemy team is respawning again, and all I do is go right behind them and make a nice run past them, take out two guys, and I would have had that heavy, but my team took it out instead. Ah, I really wanted that kill. It would have been a good triple. So I'm just, I'm just setting myself up for another one of those runs because it worked out pretty well. But our team is like all over the cart, and uh, we capped this thing pretty easily. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and have a nice day.